Now that we've discussed how to build a histogram, we can use this to determine the shape associated with our data. Here, we have three histograms showing the shape for three different data sets. The histogram that has shorter bins on the left and taller bins on the right is considered a left skewed shape. The histogram that has shorter bins on the right and taller bins on the left is considered a right skewed shape. Any distribution where you can draw a line down the middle and the right side mirrors the left side is considered symmetric. One of the most common symmetric distributions is known as a normal distribution, and it's also called the bell curve. The shape of the distribution can actually tell us a lot about the measures of center and spread. Symmetric distributions, like this one, have a mean that's equal to the median, which also equals the mode. Each of these measures sits here in the center. The mode is essentially the tallest bar in our histogram. When we have skewed distributions, it's the case that the mean is pulled by the tail of the distribution, while the median stays closer to the mode. For example, in this right skewed distribution, the mean would be pulled higher, resulting in a mean that's greater than our median. Alternatively, in a left skewed distribution, our mean is pulled down here, resulting in a mean that's less than our median. In order to relate this to the visual of a histogram, back to the five number summary we saw in the earlier lessons, here are the corresponding box plots below each histogram. Notice how the whiskers stretch in the direction of the skew for each of the skewed distributions. That is, the longer whisker is on the left for a left skewed distribution, and it's on the right for the right skewed distribution. Alternatively, the symmetric histogram also has a symmetric box plot.